Hello, welcome to Writings from the Hills. My name is Lori and I am reading a selection from The Blue Cloak by Shannon McNear. And this is book five of the True Colors series. Now I will say this, um, it is a book series. However, these do not have to be read in order. Each book is separate in and of itself. These are fictional books based on true crimes. They are not only historical fiction, they are actually Christian or Jill Reed fiction. So you're not having the violence and stuff that you actually see in some other true crime or mystery based books. I actually read this book myself. Um, it is based on real events beginning in 1797 and this is about the Harp Brothers. Now um, I actually became familiar with these people, uh, the Hart Brothers, from a TV show that I saw. It was um, just a small segment of the show about the true crimes. Uh, the Hart Brothers, or cousins, they're not really sure whether they're brothers or cousins, um, but uh, the Harps were one of our first serial killers in the United States, and they actually um, moved throughout Tennessee and Kentucky. Um, they were violent, vicious killers, and this is a kind of, it is a true crime. There also is an aspect of romance, uh, history, there's actually so many aspects of it. I really enjoyed this book. This is the large print version. Um, and I am going to start with chapter 1. June 1, 1797, in Knox County, Tennessee. It was unbecoming to be jealous of a dear friend's marriage. Rachel Taylor bit her lips together and kept her hands folded, and hoped everyone would think that the moistness of her eyes was only a bit sentimental goodwill on Sally's behalf not the wish that she herself was the one taking vows, or concern for the circumstances that brought Sally the, with this marriage to begin with. The doors and shutters stood open all around the cabin, but still the inside felt close and hot with the press of people. Sally's seven younger siblings ranged about the edges of the room. The boys and the little ones fidgeted and stared longingly outside. The older ones, standing near their mother, Mrs. Rice, big with child and misty-eyed herself. Only Sally looked unaffected by the heat, blue eyes bright, golden hair upswept, and the moisture on her face and neck managed to lend more of a glow to the flush of her cheeks. Her groom put on a violent effort, but it fidgeted almost as much as the children, looking ill at ease in what Rachel suspected was his only shirt and waistcoat. At least he had combed and tied back his red curly hair and made a similar attempt to tame his short beard, though apparently even a wedding did not merit high enough in his esteem for a shave. At least he didn't resort to the bear grease for grooming those unruly cools, curls into submission. Not that half the males in Knox County didn't, if they bothered with such niceties at all. The groom's brother, some said cousin, but Rachel wasn't sure she cared about the difference. Standing on his other side, or hulking might be more like it, certainly didn't. Although for this event he too had smoothed and tied back his hair, in a garb Rachel was sure he thought passed for clean. Big and Little Harp, they were called hereabouts, Makaja and Wiley, were their proper names for those concerned with proper. There seemed to be little enough of that about these two. Big Harp's eyes snapped to Rachel's. His dark gaze seemed to bore into her. She suddenly could not breathe, and the heat within the cabin intensified. As she looked away, there was no escape from the weight of the man's regard. Quite the contrary, from the corner of her eye she could see the curl of his mouth, which did nothing to ease the frank ugliness of the man's visage. Indeed, the smile only drew a shiver from her. That is one of the just the first few uh, paragraphs of the blue cloak by Shannon McNear and like I said this is based on the harp uh, murders and trials uh, from 
Tennessee and Kentucky during the 1790s and early 1800s. Um, if you would like to check this out, you can go to any of our website, to our website and request a copy by going to uh, www.briggslibrary.com or going to any of our locations to request a copy. I hope you enjoy it, and if you would like to try out other books from this series, it is the True Colors series, and I will see you next time. So long.